Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial when we're looking at text creation and animation. And we've looked at creation and we've come up with something that we're quite happy with using layer styles and all the different options that we've played with. And now what we want to talk about is animation. And so I'm going to move my current time indicator to the beginning of my composition and I look at my layer. Now we've got the layer styles that we've looked at before in the last tutorial. We've got the standard transforms that we've seen on every layer in the past. Plus we have this very interesting one that says text and notice over here an animate button. Now it would be tempting to think that you could use the effects in our effects and presets panel to play with text and in fact if you scroll down you'll see that there is actually a text category but these are just effects to do with numbers and time codes so you're not going to be animating text with standard effects. We will be looking at presets a bit later on, but we're not going to be using the effects here because animation takes place in the timeline with this category here, the text twirly and the animator button and the other options I'm about to show you. So if we untwirl text, you'll see that right at the beginning we've got something called source text. Now if you click the stopwatch on source text, let's say go forward one second, you'll see firstly a keyframe that's been created that's different than the normal ones. This is called a hold keyframe, a square keyframe, and it says do not change until you come across another keyframe and then change to that value. So I'm going to double click the layer and I'm going to type something entirely different. So I'm going to type creative cow. And I'm going to double click so all of that's selected and I'm going to change the color. I'm saying going down to sort of a maybe a gold color something quite nice and I'm going to play a little bit with the leading so that the cow is not actually hitting creative. Now notice that another keyframe has been created. So if I go before I've got After Effects and when I hit that keyframe I hit Creative Cow. If I go to two seconds double click to select it this time I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to go down till I find another font say that one there click again in the composition panel so that that's selected, I don't want to stay in the font, and actually type training. Training. And let's double click to select that, and let's change its color to a green. Nice dark green. Okay, so now we've got another keyframe created, and you'll notice that we've got After Effects, Creative Cow, Training. Now what if I want to change the order of these? Of course what I can do is take this one and shift it the other side and take that one to the beginning and fiddle around with them until I end up with Creative Cow, After Effects, Training. So the actual letters themselves are linked to the keyframe. So if I want to put Training After Effects, I can move the Training to one second, I can move After Effects to two seconds so I can go Creative Cow, Training, after Effects. So as you can see this is very useful for being able to move individual letters or words around to be able to create animations and even if you get them wrong they're actually linked to the keyframes that you've got. Now the other option that we have here is the path options which I've actually shown in another tutorial elsewhere but simply said you create a path and you can link the text to that path so that it follows the path. To see more of that you need to look at the After Effects light bites and see animating text on a path. I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's a very simple way of animating text. It means you can have multiple words on a single layer and change them and move them around to your heart's desire. However, this is just the beginning of animation. When we get to this animate button, you're gonna see that there's an awful lot more options that we have. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.